So you guys, we wanted to try Boca de Pepe. Boca de Pepe, whatever they're calling it. And it's called Immigrant Italian Dining. So we're gonna try it out. I've seen this restaurant several times before and I wanted to try it, but just never did. So here we go. Boy Keys. And it's your girl Mandy L L. And we back with another video, video, video. Yeah. And this time we're back in our studio, okay? Mm -hmm. Home sweet home. Yes, indeed. And this time we are doing Buca de Pepe. I believe it is. It's with a B. Don't get me to start. Buca de Pepe, Buca de Pepe. I don't know, but. The food, I have been looking at this restaurant. We go to the Florida Mall all the time. I see this restaurant situated right there between the Macy's. And I'm telling you, I never, ever, ever, we never go. But I always want to go. So yep. guess what? We got um, eggplant parmigiana. We want to try that. We also have the Brussels sprouts. And prosciutto. Mm -hmm. And we have the Alfredo fettuccine noodles. And the... Uh, Fiasco cheesy bread. Or something. Yeah, they don't have the um, cheesy Florentine bread anymore. They said they stopped selling that one a long time ago. So we couldn't get any of that. But you know what? We're going to get into this boy, baby. But it's in session. All right, let's do it. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for our friends and loved ones that came in to join us and a blessing unto them and also unto this food for the nourishment of our body. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm. And we got some, they gave us some Parmesan. Some Parmesan powder, and they gave us some um, pepper flakes, and I asked for some extra um, Alfredo sauce because you know when you kind of like when you bring the Alfredo home, it kind of like the, the sauce starts sticking and it's not as creamy as it was when they first you know put it in the thing. So I'm looking forward to trying this um, eggplant Parmesan. Mm. This eggplant looks so good, y'all. This looks delicious, mm. and um, they say it's full of meat. So I'm very interested to see how it tastes. Oh yeah. Mm. Put it on your plate, baby. I was gonna try to eat up there so y'all can see me, but this looks so so good. Look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, you see the eggplant, you see the meat. Look at that, y'all. Y'all want the first bite? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is good. That eggplant parm. Mm -hmm. This right here. <laughs> this right here, nickel. This right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. We'll be getting this one again. These um Brussels Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and broccoli, my favorite. Mm-hmm. And this tastes so good, I bet. Oh I can't wait to try it. It looks good. I love veggies. My body craves them. Mmm. Oh my god, that's probably so good. Mm-hmm. Putting that um that crispy prosciutto. Mm-hmm. They did that thing with that. But let me tell y'all how they could have perfected it. Now, if they would have put some agave nectar with some balsamic vinegar on it, I told the lady that. I already did. <laughs> she yeah. said, mm, I'm going to try that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
this um that um mm. that eggplant palm is everything y'all first thing y'all need to order whatever if y'all got one in y'all area order what you gonna order but order some of that too mm-hmm and we got the single family meal it comes with two because i guess the family style it comes with three so yeah like, I, I think it would have been too much food because mm -hmm. This right here is more than enough. And right this feeds two to three people. And I don't eat as much, so there will be leftovers. <laughs> that keys will slaughter. <laughs> it's definitely a lot of um, the noodle stuff. Mm -hmm. They get a lot of um, Alfredo fettuccine noodles. They get a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not... I'm not a big noodle eater. Yeah, he's not a big pasta eater, period. But he like this garlic parmesan. So he'll be going back there for that. And we want to try some of their pizzas too because we've seen them in there making them pizzas fresh in the oven. Do we not? Mm. Mm. Everything made fresh there. I'm surprised I never had even thought about, you know, I had been asking about going there and I had to say I want to go there, but just never went there, you know? I would even say they're better than Olive Garden, um, Carabas. Yep. I would say the food is better. I'd have ate in the other places and this is better. It's better to me. Mm -hmm. Way better, y'all. Way better experience, too. We went in. They gave us a menu. Atmosphere was very clean, nice. Um, we ordered our food. Mm. Ooh. Oh snap. Ugh, get full. You know me. Y'all. Ooh. Y'all. <laughs> um maybe because I ain't really tasted eggplant parm. I ain't never had this before. I don't even eat eggplant, so you know this is my first time even having eggplant, so this is amazing to me that it tastes so good. I've never had it before, y'all. Never had eggplant before. Uh, well, I I guess I you ain't never had nothing. Uh, I'm speaking to myself until you had something that tastes really good. Mm -hmm. And this eggplant farm. So this is my first experience with eggplant. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. You, mm -hmm. you wouldn't even... Taste. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like having a vegetable with meat and a whole marinara sauce and everything. Yeah. And everything just tastes so good. It got fresh tomatoes on here. Yeah, you're not going to be able to ask somebody how does eggplant taste mm -hmm. eating this. Mm -hmm. This won't be the food that you ask them because you're not going to really get an authentic answer because this is so good. It's got too many flavors in it. Mm. It's, it's packed with flavor and um, it tastes delicious, y'all. I know when I get hungry in a few more hours, I'll be eating this. Mm. I'll be taking two, three more bites. <laughs> it's good. Jeez, one. <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. It is good food. But yeah, this is a nice little meal to eat for lunch tomorrow when you get home. Mm. Mm. This is... More than enough. Mm. Two or three people more than enough. If you are dining out for a date, um, the single the single meal, which feeds two to three, is, is enough. It's more than enough, trust me. Yeah. It is. If you're into family style eating, mm -hmm. this is a, a must go. Must go place, yeah. Family, relatives coming in from out of town, you need a place to go. And you don't want to go to your regular routine places. Mm -hmm. You're looking for something quaint, uh, a little subtle. And you want and Italian food? This yes. Is good. Boom. This is good. Fresh. Made fresh. Clean atmosphere. Very nice and intimate. Mm-hmm. This is good food. Yep. Most definitely. I ain't complaining. Yeah. Very family friendly. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Y'all, I drank some water too before we sat, sat down to eat, so I think that's what I'm kind of full to. Because I'm trying to get my keep my water intake up. 
because honestly, when I drink more water, I keep the migraine headaches away, and I'm, that's really important to me. I got a little, uh, little concoction, little workout drink that I <laughs> can cock it. <laughs> Y'all, this food is good. I got to go to work, so I'm eating slow because I want to take some to work. <laughs> you see, greedy, greedy want to take some to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way them people be having you hopscotching around. <laughs> Um, yeah, hopscotch. <laughs> man, I need me a little motor scooter. <laughs> yeah, you guys, but um, the food is really good. We, we said that a thousand times already. Mm, man, it's but, so, um, you know, when the food good, you got to say it about 50, 11 times. You say it over and over again, but it is good food. I'm definitely going to save mine for later because I know that I'll get hungry because it's still kind of early, you guys, early in the day. And so I know that I'll, for dinner time, I'll probably just munch on this a little bit and eat me some um, fettuccine noodles because I love pasta. But I'm a little too full right now. Mm. This right here, y'all. I definitely eat my Brussels sprout, though. Lord have mercy. God mm -hmm. bless the child that has his own because you can't have this one. <laughs> See? <laughs> Really? Can't, can't have none of mine. Mm. I'm doing the most. My baby be doing the most, y'all. Hey, how baby did she do that thing when she said, Let's be. Lady T. <laughs> Man. <laughs> with the eye, with the eye and all. Oh my goodness, it is good. It is, man, it's so good. It is man. Really good. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. This food is so good it makes you want to call out of work. I mean, it's like a, <laughs> it's a stuffed, it's a stuffed eggplant, you know, so it's, uh, it's layered with all kinds of stuff, y'all. It's so good. Layered with all the right seasonings, cheese, tomatoes, yeah, that, that thing, meats, mm, eggplant. It's good, y'all. Mm -hmm. It is good. When I when it's something I like on the menu, I stick to yeah, just stick that. To it. <laughs> so every time I go there, y'all know what I'm on? Brussels sprouts and eggplant parm. I ain't gonna touch nothing else on the he menu. He might try something else if I, if I haven't tried something else. Yeah, now later. <laughs> Listen, turn him on to some little music. Now he's trying to use all the lyrics. You see what I'm saying? Megan the Stallion. Okay, turn him on and let him. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn him on and let him. Hot girls. Because I'm a cold penny on the pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> and my booty tame, boy. <laughs> boy, you see. Keezy tame. Mm -mm, Y'all, I can't. I can't with you. You a cold thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, that's my movie, man. I cannot. Hey, salute the Pootie Tang. And everybody Chris out Rock. there that like Pootie Tang out there. That was a good movie, though. What was the other movie that Chris Rock played in that I liked? CB4, what was that called? They do like, um, <laughs> they like NWA back in the day with Jerry Curls. Yeah, CB4. Yeah. Yeah, Goldie Mile and those Jerry Curls. Look, oh, man. Straight up. Don't cool. be the best movies, though, the old movies, y'all. And people actually cared about the art and the creativity side of things when they didn't have so many animations nowadays in the movies where you had to really either be funny or. Those are mm -hmm. those are real content creators, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eddie Murphy's, Chris yeah, Rock, Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, what's the old boy? Um, Ace Venture, the Wayne's, the Wayne's, the, 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 Wayne, the, the, the whole color, uh, the uh, in living the, color, in living color crew. 
Mm-hmm. The whole Jamie Fox, everybody, um, and Jim Carrey, everybody. And Cola crew. Everybody. Y'all, the best content mm-hmm. creators ever. Mm-hmm. The work, shout out to y'all. <laughs> y'all are the best content creators ever. The mm-hmm. Wayne's brother and sister. You can't just say the brother. <laughs> yeah, the, the sister's in The brother head. and the sister. Never <laughs> had one sister. Yeah, one sister. Yeah, because she, 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 she was funny too. Mad funny. Mm-hmm. Mad funny. Mm-hmm. 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 She was. I used to like seeing her in TV shows and see her on TV. Mm-hmm. I'm so full. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I'm still eating. Y'all, we still trying to regroup from coming back from Atlanta. We've been just traveling. The storm is doing so much. And we ain't stopped yet. We mm-hmm. still flowing. Mm-hmm. Might be in the city near you. That's right. Yeah, we got a lot of things we're trying to do. A lot of events coming up. A lot of stuff. All right. Now, we trying to get our belly full today. Yeah. We ain't forgot y'all. Ooh. Some of y'all asked us quite a bit of questions. Mm-hmm. We got them. We got them coming out. Yeah, we got to um, get the questions together. And then we will um, we can answer one right now. We'll answer one right now, y'all. Okay. We'll answer one right now, and then we'll go. And we'll work on the rest of them. Someone said, I would, and it's Lyric Grayson. Hi, Lyric. Shout out to Lyric Grayson. Lyric, what up, what up, what up? Lyric said, I would love for you both to talk about the healing process of loving the wrong man or woman. No, she no. also wanted to hear me talk about um, oh. my weight loss journey. And we have those videos coming up for you guys. We really do. Oh, and how to become a business owner. So we talk about all that stuff in the other video. So we'll spread it out. Mm-hmm. So the first topic we're going to talk about is the healing process of loving the wrong man or woman. Um, for me, before I met Keys, I had been in a relationship with the wrong person. And um, I felt like you know, it really broke my spirit. You know, it really had me in a place where I was like, man, there are no good men out there, you know. Or either you're dealing with somebody who's trying to use you, trample over you, you know, make a fool of you, manipulate you. Yeah, I started feeling all kind of negative thoughts about um, being in a relationship long term with, with a man. And I just wanted to be by myself. Um, I think the best thing I could have ever did was take time to myself. I took time to myself. And it was the best time ever. I, I even started losing weight. I started working out real heavy. I um <clears throat> I had moved to a new place, a really, really nice place that I loved. And I enjoyed all the amenities the place offered me. So I was just having a good time in my life. And then I had a friend that lived out there on the same property as me. So me and her was always hanging out, working out together. And it really provided me the space to really um, work on myself and get those bad ideologies out of my head that, all men are the same or oh ain't no good men out there because there are good men out there and um i think what really helped me the most was when keys approached me but it was more or less to be friends than it was to be you know in a relationship that made me feel safe like okay this guy isn't coming to get nothing from me he's really genuinely coming to be my friend yep because i had um i too had uh went through um, a bad uh, situation, and and God, guys do they go through uh, bad relationship hiccups too? Mm-hmm. We're not all bad. Mm-hmm. We get used. We get broken. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, we get uh, in our feelings and things like that. But uh, for a long. Uh, to make a long story short, you know, you get in a relationship and uh, you just got yourself on your feet and doing good, got your credit where it need to be, and then you fall for a person and they have a lot of baggage and stuff going on and you won't, 
you are really into them and uh, you want to help them out and get them out of the rut that they in so y'all can grow together. But then soon as you get them going into the right spot and then they exhale, uh, you hear or you uh, get into spats because... They're they ready say, to go. They're yeah, ready to move on. They're ready, they're ready, they're ready to... I got what I, 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 got what I, I wanted. I done, done leveled up. I done leveled up and moved on. Mm -hmm. You're not on my... My level But hear somebody say, you're not even, not on my level. But wow, mm -hmm. slap in the face, is it speaks so many volumes. Mm -hmm. And I, I know out there as I see people asking uh, questions and you you read memes and you go to the other uh, uh, public speaking uh, people's page and people are asking questions about those things like that. Yeah, it, it's hurtful for you to uh, help somebody and then they they get ghost on you and, and say you wasn't doing your part. But or you their was only doing... intention from the beginning was to always use you. Yep. You know, you feel like you waste a lot of time. You have a lot of resentment. You be really unhappy and sad about that stuff. I mean, I know I was for a little bit. And it, it took a while. I had to be by myself for over a year just to kind of like, you know, really work on me and, and, and make sure that the next time I get in a relationship or the next time I meet a guy that I be very mindful of what he's saying. Let me not be so much to, to do all the talking, but let me just sit back and observe and watch how he moving and just see if this is something that's worth even having. You know, and that's what I did with um, Keys, you know, from the moment he took me to my first date and we was dressed alike, I was like, <laughs> I was like, this isn't meant to be. <laughs> we didn't even know who we was both wearing, but we both looked like we actually went on our first date looking like we had been together forever. Because the, the, the way we was dressed, he had on a burnt orange sweater with the jeans, and I had on a burnt orange sweater with some little stripes in the middle of the um, sweater, and I had on some jeans too. We were literally dressed alike. <laughs> Yeah. Then didn't know that. Didn't even know that he came to that he came to my house to pick me up and it was just so funny and I just I was in my mind like, yeah, I like this dude. I like him. I like him a lot. And the the way that I handled um the situation was I grabbed I, I was already into working out, mm -hmm. but I had never did a show before and I knew uh people that had been uh, doing shows and they had a little group and all that kind of stuff so one of one of them reached out to me and told me hey you should try it and that's how I kept myself um, busy yeah pretty much busy because guys and all guys are not going to strip clubs all guys are not mm -hmm. going to regular club or uh, night clubs and True. looking for people you you can meet somebody in a in a in a park just walking or running or mm -hmm. in a bookstore looking for a book in a grocery store trying to get something for a night meal before you go to work you know what I'm saying stuff like that because me and um, Mandy we met at work yeah who would have thought of that somebody sitting out on the on the bench uh, eating a lunch and you look and you say wow man how can I get the confidence to speak to this this person, everybody out here at this job sweating hard already. Yeah, I was like, man, guys really have that in their hand. The, <laughs> the most good looking this guy, the most good looking this girl, they have thoughts in their head too. Whether you in a gym looking at somebody, by everybody has some type of insecurity in their head, like wow. And he was know. wondering how was he gonna get my attention because he knew all the other guys were acting like vultures around you, me. You think Jay Z <laughs> didn't have insecurities in his head on how he would how can he approach Beyonce? Man, if he told you no, he lied. You think <laughs> Kanye West didn't have insecurities in his head about uh, how he yeah. can approach Kim Kardashian even though he knew what kind of person Kim Kardashian was? You know, if he said no, if you asked him, he would be lying. You can tell by his actions right now he would be lying. <laughs> but, but, I'm you, just but you know what? He's being quiet, being reserved, not being so thirsty and eager to get in my face. That turned me on to him. Honest to God, it did. It turned me on to him. 
It really did. It made me like him. And then when I saw he had pretty eyes, pretty brown eyes. So I like his eyes. They're not too bright, but they're just the right amount of brown. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. This is my baby. I love you. I know you took with me. <laughs> but how I handled um, heartbreak was, you know, working out, taking care of myself, doing things that I love to do, hanging out with my friends. I would plan, you know, um, dates with my girlfriends. We would, I would be all the time doing some fun activity. You know, sometimes I would go out by the park and I would just jump rope. And I would make sure that I did a thousand jumps before I went back in the house. And I would, um, you know, read inspirational books and things on Hill. And I would talk to my mom. And I would just talk to other people and just really get that out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really therapy sometimes. Just let somebody hear what you have to say. And yep. then after a while... I knew I was ready to get back out there because I hated a lot of work on me. So, yeah, that's how I dealt with the um, healing process. Working out, um, hanging out with my friends, staying staying booked up with, with activities and fun things to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got you got to stay mm -hmm. you got to stay moving. Yeah, you do. Cuz once you stop mm -hmm. and stay put and get slumbering at depression and laying in the bed and don't want to go nowhere, don't want to do nothing, oh, you'll boy. get stuck there. So, you mm -hmm. know, just to try to prevent getting stuck there or getting stuck thinking about what somebody did to you, you know, you got to think about what you can do for you now. Yeah. Okay, they did that, but what can I do to better me now? Yep. It ain't about them no more. It's about the progress. Mm -hmm. It's about staying active. It's about um, right. who are you? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Who are in you? You know who you are as as name. Yeah. But who you are as a person. Right. Yeah. So that's important, y'all. We hope you guys love Italian food. If you haven't tried Buca de Pepe or Bepepe, whatever they name is. <laughs> You should try it out. Look Man, in your area. See if you got one. I looked it up and I mean four locations came up right here in this area. So I'm yeah, like, what the heck? Super good. It is, and I'm gonna eat some of this later on. And um Yeah, I didn't eat any of the um, fettuccine noodles on this too full, but I'll definitely try to eat a little bit later. Fettuccine noodles. So it's a little bit, not much, because it's mm. too many carbs. But um, yeah, this is definitely good, y'all. <coughs> Ooh, you okay, baby? Mm. Okay. I'm red brown. Talking down. to trying to eat. Eat that food first and then hush. Um, down the wrong pipe. I'm most definitely taking this to work. Yeah, he is. I already know it. I'm going to make him a plate yeah. while he get ready. Double M's. You like this video? Thumbs it up. Give us a like now. Stop giving us some th thumbs down. That's that hater raid, baby. That's that hater raid. Get out that. Get out your hate. Get out your hate and get into your love cycle, okay? Okay. Get in them comments too. <laughs> Get in them comments and talk. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Holla at your girl. Ew. And Dern Show hit that notification bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have in store for you. And hey. we'll see you in our next video. And if you're new to Double M Kingdom, welcome to the kingdom. Yeah. Love you guys. And we out. Bye.